Hi there, you're watching AC's 8-Bit Zone. This is a midweek coffee break and I wanted to give a quick update on the progress of my composite video mod and the S-Video mod. So the mods are complete and uh, they're working and I'm putting together the last clips of video and starting the editing process. So hopefully that video will be out in just a couple of days. So right now I just want to take a quick minute, open two or three packages, there are some last minute items that could make their way into the mod. So let's see what we have here. So these are just all things I ordered myself. Okay, this is a resistor kit. I still have a kit that I've been working from for probably the last 15 years or so. So every now and then you just need a few new fresh resistor values and maybe some capacitors. So this is a 97 different values, 25 pieces of each. So just some standard 1% resistor values. Uh, they are of course the leaded type of resistor. I say of course because <clears throat> Right now I'm working on the RF modulator and the TRS-80 computer uses a lot of the uh, leaded through-hole resistor. And uh, no, for no particular reason other than I've been using a few capacitors lately, I also bought a capacitor kit. This is a set of electrolytics and we'll get a, a closer up zoom of these items here in just a moment. Okay, this looks like an RCA cable. And to be honest, I ordered, I think, one of the wrong kind and then realized my mistake and I ordered another kind. This is potentially usable, but maybe not the, exactly what I should have bought. So this is a two RCA from, from a two contact plus a common. So this supports two RCA connections. So you could have two audio channels, but I was thinking of using this as uh, one, one video channel and one audio channel. Perhaps what I really wanted was two audio channels plus a video channel. This is insulating tape, or I've always called it Kepton tape. It's a heat resistant and insulating layer that you can lay down on a piece of circuit board, uh, an area of the PCB that you don't want other electronic components to touch. And finally, so this is going to be the red, white, and yellow cable from a TRRS type of three and a half millimeter plug. I'll open that in just a second. And let's just first make sure that this is the board mounted jack that mates up with that cable. It appears that it is, so let's get these on the bench and take a closer look. Well, as it turns out, my bench is just way too crowded right now with the actual composite mod and S-Video mod that's in progress. But I just wanted to show you really quickly, these are 1 8 watt resistors as opposed to the more normal size that you usually see, the, which is the quarter watt. So I have no idea as to the quality of, of these resistors yet. I, this will be the first time I've used them. It's made by Wemas, W-I-M-A-S. And what I wanted to show you is the size difference. This is a standard quarter watt resistor. And I specifically ordered the 1 8 watt resistors because they're a little bit easier to fit in the small spaces of the RF modulator board and they could come in handy and I, anyway I just needed a lot more selection of, of standard resistor values. And then here is the three and a half millimeter cable. This is three and a half millimeter male jack to RCA the uh, red, white, and yellow connectors. Uh, so this cable has a good feel to it. It's, it's very flexible. It, it is, uh, it's six feet or almost a couple of meters in length and it has the TRRS style of tip. So you actually get 
th three poles and and the common. What does the TRRS stand for? Was it is it tip, ring, ring, and I don't know what the S. If the S is shield, but anyway, you you get the three poles of contact plus a common, and each of the three and and each of the three wires carries a signal and a common. So the, the common should be repeated three times in this assembly. And you get the RCA on, uh, on the end there. This is going to make more sense in just a minute when I show you the, the jack and where the jack is going to go in this composite video mod. And then this is the, the jack itself. It's PCB board mounted. Okay, and uh, it has four pins on the bottom for mounting into the board. This just mates like that. All right. So in my video on composite video that I'm coming out with next, I'll go into a little bit more detail on this, but just briefly, in the Coco 2, there are the two modulator styles. And I'll go into that in, in my next video in a little bit more detail, but this is one of them that had the RF output and I've drilled a hole for, for audio. So the one option for assembly would be to have composite video and audio. Now another possibly more likely variation will be to desolder this connector and replace it with an S-Video 4-pin connector and then you still need audio output to go along with your S-Video so you could use the TRRS jack in the other slot and you could use it purely for taking the single channel of audio and making two copies of it to come out on the, uh, the red and the white cables. And I think it might be possible that you can plug in a uh, two RCA style cable into the TRRS connector and it still picks up the red and the white. I need to verify that, but I think that's the case. So anyway, you would be getting audio from this jack and S-Video from this jack once this is swapped out for the four pin connector, which I already have some of. And, uh, and back to that first option, where uh, someone may only want um, composite video and mono audio. So you could always refresh this connector with a new yellow one such as this. So you put a yellow one there and put the audio in the second spot. And um, this is the, the old location of the channel 3 slash 4 switch. I just removed the switch from the PCB and enlarged the hole with a drill bit. Alright, so that's the midweek update. So definitely go ahead and subscribe and click the bell so you can get notified when I come out with the full video which should be in just a few days time. So for now, have a great week and we'll see you next time back here at AC's 8-Bit Zone. Bye!